This is Deb Helfrich, hashtag Redhead She Hulk. Cinco de Mayo. I am willing to admit it. I am neurodivergent. I am thinking of how to enact a better future for humanity. And in my creativity, I seem to not understand how long it takes for things to work in 2021. I'm in a real serious jam over here. Got a few people offering, you know, what they can. But I need a fucking home. There was a tick on my neck. I went into the Whole Foods to get my daily dose of guacamole. This has been on sale for Cinco de Mayo. Shout out to the Whole Foods. They came through. Seriously. After being in their parking garage for about 10 days, the manager came to talk to me. That's how privilege work. Fine. They were checking on me. They didn't have a problem. They weren't shooing me off. And in fact, they gave me a $50 gift certificate. Even though I had insisted I didn't need, I wasn't hungry, didn't need money for food. I don't think the outcome would have been the same if I looked different. Nonetheless, you know, I'm using my privilege to try and demolish racism. Tweeted Lamont two days in a row. Thank you, Troy and Kurt. It's this thing, it's it's um about resonance. I mean I wasn't who I am back then. And that's that's what hurts is <laughs> You know, a little life just not being Deb, just just going, well, these are the rules of society and this is what you do, but it's not okay. The harm that our society does for so many people. Now I got to like, I'm just, I'm just, I had a tick on my neck. I don't think I would have noticed. I didn't see it at the Target. So it happened while I was in the Barnes and Noble. So it was probably from the pillow, which is stored back where Zanzi is. But now I gotta, I'll do, where do we go to walk now? Um, and I had friends in need. I bought a whole townhouse and said, come live here. that I ended up like this is because of what happened in that townhouse, which I still don't really know. You know, this is, this is what life is about. Letting your mind bring up what it needs to talk about. That's essentially all I'm ever doing. And I've recorded myself hundreds and hundreds of times. So I'm aware that I'm not perpetuating any harm forward. Now it seems it harms people to to be exposed to a human really living in the present, really dealing with what happened in that townhouse in Annandale when two women who were my sisters. I could even have called both of their mothers. And they just ghosted me. Over my dog running away. When I was in Los Angeles and I, st I still don't comprehend. I still I still don't know. And it, it seems like people ghost me. They all ghost me, some mostly, not Troy Kurt. But when things are going really bad for me, ghosts 
everything is what happens. As long as I was playing by the rules and being normal. But something I found hard to process, like when the situations of life got bad for me, I was just abandoned. I had no support for any of the difficulties of this world. And it was a gift. I mean, clearly hard. But also, like, it's how I started looking and really foundationally, what is the cause of all of this chaos? Why are so many humans living lives of despair, of quiet desperation? Why does somebody reaching out for urgent help get told, talk to you in 6 to 12 months? We've built all these systems of civilization as though humans are widgets. Here's the process, and y'all, screw any of y'all that can't, don't have the resources, mostly the financial resources, to follow this extremely long, arduous process. This meritocracy that you need to have the privilege of money, privilege of time, in order to learn, in order to go research, right? I want to learn from CFA. I know what I know, phenomenology-wise. I know what I know about consciousness. It's bioelectricity. And the ramifications of that simple statement can alter everything about this planet. Solve global warming. Most definitely my top priority is demolishing racism. I don't want any more black men having to deal with the faulty perceptions of this civilization. I want any more black women. You know, it's hard for me to even say what our society does to black humans. <sighs> I don't know how to fix my situation. And I don't have anyone to talk to who doesn't tell me to get a job. If I go get a job, I'd have a job. I did that. I can't do that anymore. Because in a job, you have to not think for yourself. In a job, you have to do things. I am a human who is optimized for thinking, not doing. This shouldn't be a death sentence. I am a human who lives in my subconscious out loud. That shouldn't be a death sentence. <sighs> what do you do when nobody will talk to you? You need a home. And you don't have any money because nobody will talk to you. You fail at six straight years of trying to build a network on LinkedIn and create self-employment. I mean, not a penny. I didn't earn a penny. Now I gotta fucking watch the time and shit. So I don't have any storage on this stupid-ass burner phone. Storage is we're not supposed to be harming humans because storage is supposed to be cheap as... as <sighs> Nothing cheap anymore. I mean, chalk might be, but where are you going to find chalk to buy? 
Cheese ain't cheap. Chips ain't cheap. It comes down to this. The corporations have taken over. Corporate law is 120 years. It was the 1890s. Corporate law in Delaware. This is, this is not how the world worked. This is not how things in Africa work. Let's, let me see. Five people like my post about my situation. Two African men. Three African, I mean, three African American women. Well, see again, you can't even say those things. Because in Toronto and then uh, Indian. All oh, this fucking categorization is doing our species in. But until you fix some of these things, you can't just come around and be like, all lives matter. You can't retort that. You can't, you can't pull the focus from the lives that don't have equitable access, equitable shots, equitable treatment. This has been a good one. I'm feeling cleansed. I don't know about you. My work is crucial. Yeah, this is brand new. I know I invented it. Shit. But I'm also inventing things that bring in real fucking money. I mean, look, if the comparable is Dave Chappelle, that's $20 million a special. We get paid for the attempt, yo. Maybe I just got to try this Chappelle. Because again, I just keep going. Well, none of this. I can't do any of this. I'm in Chappelle driving distance. I don't know where he at. I don't know how to figure out where he at. Yeah, he gonna stand out. I'll get there. So I composed an email earlier to a drama and voice professor, Carnegie Mellon. We'll see how that goes. Harmony, this has been Hashtag Redhead of She-Hulk.